Pisces, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. If you're watching this Pisces, trust that there is a message here for you. If you are a regular, welcome back Pisces. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bronya. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Looking forward to bringing you through this message. Now, sometimes Pisces that can feel like your personal reading whilst that's super cool. Doesn't always happen with a general collective. Could just be pieces, but don't underestimate those. And if none of it, re none of it resonates, do leave it for the next person. But what we have here, Pisces, is a message that the energy is gaining momentum. Something's building, right? Maybe something's getting closer. Uh, maybe there is some, you know, steps that are going to be taken very soon. Okay, the energy is gaining momentum. So I really love that. It could be like things are speeding up, heating up. <laughs> Let's keep going. So I'm using the Divine Initiation Oracle Pisces. I will then use the Ethereal Alchemist Tarot. And I will link you to these beautiful decks down below in case you would like to add them to your collection. And I've pulled the title card from this deck, Divine Initiation, number one. So it could be that, you know, the energy is gaining momentum towards some kind of initiation into something new. Now, is it a new job? Is it a new relationship, a new way of being, right? It sort of feels like it's something that is... um a new beginning that maybe you've been manifesting because I'm noticing this card's number one and the first card in the tarot number one is the magician, right? So I sort of feel like something that you have been alchemizing or something that you've been hoping to create, make happen is coming together and you're right at the threshold, you're right at that gateway. Alrighty, let's keep going. So I'll use the full tarot deck now, Pisces. We've got... Five of Swords, yeah. And I think it's been a, a bit of a, a long time coming, right? You might have uh, fought a bit of a battle here. I mean, the Five five of Swords is usually one of my, you know, five-month or, or five-year battle cards, right? You have really tried very hard here. And it could be, you know, what, I, what I'm getting here is that maybe you're very close to a walkaway point, right? Maybe you've been trying to, you know, better your career, your finances. Maybe you've been really trying to you know save a relationship or something like that often the five of swords talks about the stress building and get being very close to a, a walk away point here but i feel like there could be some kind of turn around yes <laughs> Eight of Wands is usually my directional change card it's something happening that just at that last moment everything shifts it isn't isn't that the way you know it's almost like the universe wants to test us test our resilience test our determination right and it's almost like if we pass that test the universe goes okay well i'll just speed things up now finally i can bring it in for you talk about the energy gaining momentum we've got eight blooming wands just coming in can you feel it and the eight of wands can be associated with a message or a communication that finally turns things around. Like if this is a five year battle for some of you, it could have been like, you know, going through a five year divorce or a legal case or a degree or, you know, trying to climb the ladder in your career, right? And you have pushed and you've been determined and, you know, you've got to that point, is it really worth it? About to walk away, boom, here comes the eight of wands, the opportunity that is the initiation to your next level. So I absolutely love that things turning around and ten of pentacles is here and this is all things long-term stable financial um, it talks about security it talks about stability like the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles are the best life energies that you want to receive in a reading right things turn around there is some kind of outcome here that can take you through to the ten of pentacles so we've got like a, a shift towards abundance a shift towards long-term stability and security and the six of wands is the victory so you are being told that after a long battle or push or sort of like going up the hill right that you are about to go down the other side you're reaching the 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 point where things unfold and finally you get the flow back of all of the hard work and energy. So the Six of Wands normally talks about someone who's coming out of a darker time with their head held high, with confidence and with esteem because 
they know that they have done their best, done everything they can. And because of that, you know, and it's done with integrity, the results and the rewards come in. And you actually are being recognized, I think, from people around you or within this organization or whatever it is for you, uh, for your contribution, for your efforts, for your resilience, you know, for what you have done here. And the emperor, I reckon we'll top off the reading with that one. You know why? Because this is almost like the highest expression of somebody who has played it like a game of chess and has really taken a huge step towards building their personal empire. What is it for you, Pisces? Have you been working towards buying a home? Because that's something that's a huge goal. Have you been working towards being in the emperor's seat, the, the boss, the mentor, the team leader, the supervisor, the CEO, something like that? Maybe some of you have been working towards, you know, finding that relationship that you can build your home empire, build your family. Feels a little bit more achievement based, work, career, finance for me or education. But we have this indication that the energy is gaining momentum. You are so close towards this kind of real uh, battle energy pushing through the other side and getting some major results. Could be an entrepreneurial journey with the emperor as well. Finally, you win that big contract or you get that big recognition. You know, somebody shares your content that has got a huge following and all of a sudden you're on your way. So that is the emperor. All of those moves lead to the checkmate moment. Checkmate Pisces. This is it for you. This is your divine initiation. I am going to leave it there. I do hope you enjoyed this reading, Pisces. If you'd like to follow up with a personal reading, please do check out the first link down below to my website. And you can see what's off on offer over there. I'll link you to my socials, in particular Instagram and TikTok. I'm very active and interactive with different daily content and some uh, different topics and personal sharing over there. There is a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you'd like to get started interpreting the cards. And also you are seeing a little preview here of the initiation, my initiation into Intuitive Tarot for you. So I have, um, uh, that's my paid option for, for learning tarot and I teach a full foundation and my professional reading process. So I'll let you uh, peruse all of those links down below. I'm sending you love and magic Pisces. Bye for now.